Hey guys, we're back with more Baron Breakfast. When we left off, we... Well, by we, I mean Hank and his pals found this weird shark robot, and then I guess I didn't really get it much, but like they need to transform the shack into something where humans could live, and now I had to go find this beaver to help out to build the shack. And so we're here now, and I'm having to find him some materials, so let's do it. You can split stacks for multiple items. Scavenging is one of the main ways you obtain materials. Certain materials will respawn periodically in expected locations. Wood will be found in your trees, stone and marble near rocks, junk around the garbage dump, and so on. Store any extra materials and stash near the pond voyage car in each area. That's it. So, did you find all the wood? Yep, got it right here. Grand, perfect, you're doing such a great job. Uh, thanks, I just picked it up off the ground. Amazing. Now, I'm headed to Timber Crossing, I'll see you there. I'm fast as f boy. Uh, bye. I don't think you have any idea <laughs> how fast I really am. I spotted more wood though. Wood. Oh, take all. Now we gotta go back to Timber Crossing. Oh, more wood. Don't mind if I do. Would I? <laughs> that was stupid. Meet Tony back in Timber Crossing. That's what I'm doing. There he is. A hey, Tony. Yes, all of that is wonderful. And we're gonna use this old shed. Haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this. First you'll have to clean up clean up the shed of all the garbage. I think I could do that. Get all the garbage. Smelly shed. Take all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And boom. Is it gonna be like story like the entire time? Cause <laughs> I'm really bad at reading. Like I. I trip over my words a lot, what as up? you know. Jared, I'm 19, and I never learned how to read. Let's just hope not. Did you clean up the shed? <laughs> Imagine I say no. Yep. Great. Now we'll have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in thin air. You need some place to make it work. The table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it back together while I tidy up the place. Sir, yes, sir. Pinewood plank. Confirm. Can now be used to build rooms and craft furniture. Did you get that workbench fixed? Like brand spanking new. It's good. Enough. Uh, thanks. Excuse me. You have plenty of time to get better. Now, humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Here. This is none of those things, but it'll do. Convoyage has new items available. Visit the shop. Awesome. 
Awesome. Go make one at the workbench. Okay, so this is like a tutorial. Uh, once repaired, the workbench is used to craft and place objects as well as build rooms. The craft functional to craft functional furniture, use the workbench and enter the crafting menu. Functional objects are specific to room types and are crafted from materials. Beds give comfort and belong in bedrooms. Toilets give hygiene and belong in bathrooms, etc. Once you're done, exit build mode and exit build mode by using the exit button. Learn new blueprints from quests or buying them and interacting with them to learn the recipes. Buy more blueprints at the Pond Voyage shop as they become available. And that's it. Yeah. Uh, build room. Comfort. Bedroom. What do I do here? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, oh, how do I, how do I, help, <laughs> help, oh, I see. We'll do... Hang on. Wait. <sighs> oh, there we go. Beds. Or I'll just there. How do I get to the beds? Cooking, crafting, clothing. <laughs> How do I do this? What the f <laughs> Add door, add a window. How do I make a gosh dang crafting? Uh, whatever. Oh, smart. Okay, now I have a bed, and now I can build the room. So smart, Sarah. Better. Why isn't it? In the summertime, and the weather is fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Iron beds. Doors. Do the door there. Where'd my bed go? Furniture? Oh. How do I rotate it? And whatever. Alright, crit room. Um, oh. Oh, I forgot to go out of... Alright. You can make a bed using the workbench. Come back when you've got one. What? I already did! It's right here! No, 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 no. How do I? Mm. OK. 
Okay, I'll just make another bed. Whatever. Were you able to make that bed? Yep, got it right here. I didn't think it could look worse than the schematics. But here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent, you're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. Well, hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. I already did that. Nice. So, <laughs> we're you able to make that bedroom? Yes sir, stains and all. What do you mean by that? Brilliant. I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. Alright now, this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority. By having someone around that they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're gonna need to make them feel welcome. By putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where to go. And a little black book to keep the records for the shark. Oh yes, here's how you make it. Quite straightforward, really. Uh, after you made it, just put it down in the shed and then it's time to rake in the dough. Crafting, front desk, oh, I need to place it down, inventory, front desk, do the front desk here, I guess, over here? Did you place the front desk? Yup, it's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever and there's barely anything in there. Are they even gonna like it? You should know how to take a compliment. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Why is Hank such a mood? He's literally me. Go talk to Sharky Boy. Tell him we got his joint ready. Tell Finn you're ready. Nothing to lose? Okay. Press the green button. Hello, we'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. The time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley people. These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. Harbinger? I don't know that word. <laughs> a little bit dramatic if you asked Hank. All he knew for sure was what his mom always said. Keep your distance. So much for that. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. S simply accept your first guest through the front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. The front desk can be used to manage your resorts. The resort overview panel will show all the active resorts you've discovered. Each resort will display its available bedrooms, guest requests, and reviews. Bedrooms you build will be listed at, with their current vacancy status and scores. Every morning, new guests will request to stay at your resorts. You have to ex accept them and assign them to rooms. Depending on the resort, each guest will have demands for their room. Use the accept button to accept a guest request. Assign the guest to a bedroom for their stay. Try to match the bedroom scores to the guest demands for better reviews and payouts. 
You can get more guest requests per day in an area by repairing monuments. While you are off on an adventure in another location, your resorts will still run. Gotcha. Details. This is already kind of fun. Uh, guest requests? Re Regan Fried Friedrich. Friedrich? Frederick? Accept. Assign. I think I did it. There we go. Well. Now what? Do I have to go back to Finn? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> I always fall for it because I think he's going to say something different. Press the green button. I got a human on the way. Congratulations, you are now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you are much, much closer to financial ruin. But, you have a head start. And that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with the guest demands as they tend to become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Yeah, alright. Uh, what do I do? Is that a car down there? All right. Okay, no. Uh, what do I do? Oh, he arrives tomorrow. I see. So, now what do I do? <laughs> Itchy fur means more friends to hang out with. Uh, if a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Yes, it does. And I always recommend lumber support for serious injuries. Uh, I already talked to you about that. Oh. Uh-oh. Alert, alert. It looks like your premium property is still lacking in the old P department. What do you mean by hey, that? Hey, I don't... Prestige! Wow. That means that the decoration levels of your property aren't l up to our low, low standards. It is ugly. But it looks just like my room. Mm. In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make your properties more appealing. By adding non-essential essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. What an uncomfortable sentence. Raise the property prestige level to a satisfying degree before returning. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you, god dang it. Uh, so I have to... Oh. Prestige is the sum of all decoration scores across a resort. Your resort's prestige score can be found in the resort overview panel. Increase prestige by increasing the amount of decoration in your cabin. Most objects have a decoration score either positive or negative. Cool. Uh, get the dinky shed to prestige level 2. How do I do that? Oh, you remember the old dust dump duster, the old dumpster in the north of Timber Crossing that you'd go diving in with? Well, you should check for decorative things. Okay. 
So that's this way. Whoa there, big fella. Where did you come from? I live here. Where did you come from? Alright, enough with the questions. What are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash? Junk? Muck? I'm looking for something humans like. Something that makes them feel more... distinguished. Slop? Scrap? Rubble? No, I need something more exquisite. That's where you're wrong, my colossal, colossal companion. I got what you need. You've stumbled upon the most handsome curator of <laughs> this side of the valley. There isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. Great. Let me just have a look at the dumpster. Not so fast, bozo. How do I know I can trust you? My, um, authoritative height? Authoritative? Author authoritative height? Be that as it may, we don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in a gutter before noon. Although, I do spend a lot of time down there. But, you gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what, there's a bus depot across the road. I can smell that stinky tuna from there. Find me a snack, then we can talk. Updated. Uh, here. Uh. Up oh, there it is. Take all. Poor Oliver. <laughs> Not gonna have a lunch anymore. Okay. So, did you find any grub? Yeah, right here. Stale bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard? That's all I could find. Mmm, just like mom used to make. Alright, you British charmer. I'll let you buy my special selection of swill. <coughs> and here, I'll even let you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price. And I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. I mean real valuables. Awesome. Took's Dumpster is your one-stop shop for decorative objects. Took accepts valuables as a currency. This world is littered with them, literally. Guests also leave behind garbage that you can collect and use to buy decorative ob objects from Took. Cool. Uh, Alright. So, do I just go in here? Oh, or do I... Go to the thing here. Inventory. Oh, did he not give them to me? Oh, duh. So, how come I ain't seen you around here any before? Oh, we used to come here all the time. Dumpster diving. Oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal. No, no, it's not like that. My buddy Will always made me go. And it was only for magazines and pamphlets. No bad stuff. Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not gonna snitch if you ain't. Besides, haven't seen a lick of new humans around here for a while. Not since the couple that ran around after the big inferno. Yeah, we used to never be allowed past the fence in the thicket. Now we walk around like we own the place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyways, humans coming back to the droves. He anyways, human coming back in droves, huh? That's pretty wild if you pull it off. And probably make a few folk pissy in the process. Listen, I get plenty, plenty of demand, so my, my business revolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. And especially slim pickings if we don't get any of the rich looking kind. 
they dumped the best junk. I'll tell you what. Since you're fixing up the old shed from, how about you do the same for the kiosk up there? They used to flock around that place like raccoons to a burger wrapper. It's me. I am raccoons. <laughs> I'm just getting the hang of it. This sounds a lot more complicated. Nah, this is a one and done deal. They just need a couple of things to keep them distracted. The beaver will know all about it. He was here when the place was built. Who knows what kind of... Who knows what new kinds of goods we'll have in the shop. Alright. Is this decorative stuff? We'll do a welcome mat. And we'll do... Drawers. Oops. You don't see the value in what they throw away until you point it out to them. And then charge them extra. Alright. We're gonna place down this stuff, and then that'll be the end of the episode, because we're already close to 30 minutes. Alright. Um... There's the welcome mat. Where do we want to put it here? Yeah. And old drawers go right here. Alright. Well, we did not get that much done. It did not feel like we did anything, but that's the end of the episode, so we'll do more whenever. Because I've done two episodes of this, and I think I'm done for the night. But it'll either be a hardcore Minecraft episode or another episode of this. So if you'd like to see more, of course, all, as always, like and subscribe. And comment, maybe, uh, let's see. Comment what kind of games you'd like to see. And comment what you would like to see more. Hard hardcore Minecraft or this. So anyways. I'll see you guys later. Bye!